video to Syria. We are going to be making a beautiful bag with Asha OK and leather material. In this case, we use a synthetic leather for this particular bag. All right, it's a classic boss lady bag, and this is it. And take note that all these accessories that we've used are what I have on my website, so you can order for them on my website. They are durable accessory, unlike the one I usually use. You can see the chain that is the quality one. You can see the eyelet is the one with screw that is quality. Even the lock is the quality one. So this is the bag that we are going to be making today. black leather for the flap it's flat so to join this ash okay you just lay them side by side you lay one of it about a quarter inch on the top of another then you just top stitch on it so that's how to join the ash okay so you don't have to limit yourself to using ash okay you can use any other print of your choice for the lining i'm using suede soft touch material this suede Okay, you can also use your velvet material for the bag. Now let's talk about the measurements for this particular bag design. The facing, I'm going to be using a board, a leather board. All right, but in this case, I'm using a white leather board. I'm using a white leather board, and I'm also going to interface it with this paper. It's called a carry board. I'm going to be laying this on top of this board, all right, because I want it to be very stiff and firm. I'm going to be using two pieces of interfacing of different type. So let's talk about the parts of this bag. You have the flap, you have the main body of the bag, which are two, the front panel and the back of it. So you have the base of the bag and you also have the gusset of the bag, which are also two, one, two. So this bag has five panels, one, two, three, four, five. We're talking about the measurement of it. So these are two, okay these two are for the front and the back lay panel of the bag all right so this is for the flap okay and this is for the base finally we have the gusset which are two for the main panel which is this So the width is going to be 11 inches and the height is going to be 8 inches all right let me just show you what i mean 8 inches all right and you need two pieces of dicks you have to cut out two pieces of dicks for the front and the back so then the flap of this bag you just have to cut out the same measurement with the main body of the bag which is 11 by 8 inches then you use this this is a thread a twin thread that i use for sewing you just place this right you position it make sure this part of it is at the edge of this and this part of it is at the edge of this and then you use it to curve it out all right you just place it like this At the edge of it like this okay then you curve it out now you're going to take your scissors and you cut on this mark these two marks then you just cut on the mark give it that shape that curving shape Okay, now you're going to have a flap that is curving at the edge, just like this. Okay, just like this. Just like this. That's how to get the flap of this particular bag. To get the base of this bag, which is the base, this. So the measurement for the base is going to be the same width with the measurement of the main body, which was 11 inches. So for the height of it, this part of it, I'm going to be taking 5 inches. So the measurement is 11 by 5 inches. So I'm going to take my tape rule to measure it so you can see what I mean. So to go your gusset, the 
measurement of your bust feet is going to be six and a half inches by six and a half inches in width. All right. So the cut out here is half and a quarter by half and a quarter. Half and a quarter by half and a quarter because I want this part that is not cut out to be equal to this side of the base okay it can match with each other it's half a quarter this is half and this is a quarter half a quarter by half and a quarter so i did that and cut out cut it out so what i practically did is just measure half a quarter from this point you mark then you measure half a quarter from this point you mark then you join the two lines that's how i got this cut out so you're going to need two of these for the gusset in that case we are done with our patterns now we have two of of the gusset cutouts we have the base cutout take note the base is five inches by eleven and a half inches okay then we have the flap which is the same width with the main body of the bag and it's cut out using dicks we have two panel for the bag front and the back the next thing we are going to be doing now is to apply gum and lay these two interfaces together because I want it to be a bit stiff. Okay, I want it to be a bit sturdy. Okay, to be a bit sturdy like this. I want it to be a bit sturdy. I'm going to be combining two interfacing. So I'm going to be using my gum, this elastic cutter cement gum. This is the type I'm going to be using. I also have my brush so when i'm doing that you're going to see what i'm going to do so i will put them together then move to the next step okay i just apply gold. let's assume that this is the interfacing these are the two interfacing i'm using to make it hard okay so i applied gum here then i put this on top of it like this okay just to get something like this for the flap i want the external to be to have this particular interface with this interface that looking like a paper this one here just for the flap okay but so by the time i'm trying to wrap it it will be hard on the flap side but for the others the external is going to have this particular interfacing see this is what i did for the side panel it has no interfacing i want the gusset on the side panel to just be very light okay for the base of the bag i also join two interfacing together take note that i've trimmed off some excess so that the interfacing will not be too hard for the machine to sew through so now what i'm going to do we are going to be dividing this flap interface into section so that it can bend okay in a way that we want first of all i'm going to measure out a, and a quarter inches here is one and to this place is one and a quarter inches so i'll just measure it out because i'm going to be dividing it from this side of it so i'll just measure one and a quarter inch out just join the lines watch me do this to be so i'll place my two and a half inches mark on this line then i will mark out okay this two and a half inch this is where the angle is going to be all right so i want the angle to be a bit wide Instead of two and a half inches, you are not limited to using two and a half inches. Then I'm going to join these lines and then making one line. All right, now we have marked out this and marked out this. So you are going to take something like either a razor blade or a knife, a rotary knife, and you cut slightly on this mark just to make sure it bent a bit. You can use your hand to bend it following this mark as guide but it's easier when you use something like a knife or a blade but when cutting please just cut slightly don't cut too deep if you cut too deep it's going to cut it open okay and it will not be strong again so just cut slightly on this max i have my blunt blade here very blunt that's supposed to use a sharp blade but blunt it's manageable so what i do i'll just place my ruler To my ruler, so let me use this part of the ruler and I'll place it on this mark so I'm just going to cut it straight. 
slightly like as I'm cutting the blade is kind of close to the ruler I just want it not to be bent take it to the other mark here I will hold it down close to this mark so I'm using that mark as a guide You see that it's now very bendable, right? Bend to give you this shape. Okay. So this is going to be at the back of the main panel like this. You can shape it out if you want. Okay, you can shape it out if you want, or you can just give it, leave it the way it is. So I'm going to show you the two parts where one was shaping and the other was not shaping. my previous videos where i showed you how to shape it in this manner if you want so but this is the one we are going to be doing today it's not going to be shaped at the back okay this one i just bent it there's no um, cut here there's no division here once this has a kind of division okay this is just going to be at the back like this pattern this is going to be at the back like this to get the flap of the bag this and you have the base which is one and you have the gusset which are two I joined it I, this one actually was too small so I, I put something that's a bit that will extend to it a bit and you put it together like this okay your hammer and just put it so it becomes harder a bit so this will make it a bit stiffer so this is going to be for the second main interfacing which is going to be at the back of the bag 